Hey everyone, the given question is from the topic of rotation. The question is from JE Advanced 2011 paper 2. So in this question we have a thin ring of mass 2 kilograms and radius 0.5 meters and it is rolling without slipping on a horizontal plane with a velocity 1 meters per second. A small ball of mass 0.1 kg which is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second in the opposite direction hits the ring at a height of 0.75 meters. So and goes vertically up with a velocity 10 meters per second immediately after the collision. So the ring has the pure rotation. So first we need to calculate the V2. V2 being the final velocity of the ring. Then the ring comes to complete. The ring comes to complete. So we need to calculate omega 2 and V2. <coughs> the friction between the ring and the ground is to the left. We need to then calculate the friction force. Um, I think it will be true. It will be towards the left. We will see. Okay, we don't have to calculate the friction force. There is no friction between the ring and the ground. Okay, that also we'll see. I'm assuming all of these are after collision. So over here we have. Uh, uh, basically, we can say that uh, we can conserve energy, momentum. Now, let's do this. F, X, D, T. That is the change in momentum in the X direction. We cannot conserve momentum. So, F, X, D, T in the X direction is uh, basically uh, 0 0.01 into 20. Because that's for the small ball. Okay. It would be 2. The change in momentum for small ball in the x direction is 2 implies the change in momentum for the ring would be minus 2. Alright. And Fy dt is equals to uh, 10 into 0 0.1. Okay. 0 0.1. So that would be 1. Alright. Alright. So uh, we can say from here that minus 2 minus of fx dt is equals to minus 2 which is equal to capital M v2 minus v1 right and uh, v2 is basically 2 so minus 1 is equals to uh, v2 minus v1 being 1 right so this this gets cancelled v2 comes out to be 0 <clears throat> right so let's we need now we need to check if omega 2 is 0 or not based on that we'll choose between option a and option b now for omega uh, tau dt is equals to f x dt into into this length right so let's see oh it's basically 0 0.25 right this line is basically 0.25. So we can directly write 0.25 over here. Because radius is uh, 0.5, right? So it is 0 0.25. Uh, this will try to rotate it in this direction. Initially, it was rotating in this direction. Okay, so that means we'll assume this to be negative, okay? Because the initial rotation, let's take that as positive. So that is minus f dt and for f y this is the direction this is the length we need so if this is a 1 this is r this is r by 2 so this is uh, basically r you can use the Pythagoras theorem right? r square minus r square by 4 ka root to so root 3 r by 2 so this is root 3 r by 2. We we'll put this over here. So f y dt. Achha, both of them are trying to oppose it. So we we'll just take mod for now. f y dt into root 3 uh, into r by 2 is basically 0 0.25 plus f x dt into root 3 into 0 0.25 so this will come out to be 1 1 f i dt is 1 right so root 3 by 4 
plus uh, f uh, x is 2 so it is root 3 so it won't be root 3 right the root 3 is not there it will be basically 1 by 4 so what is 1.732 minus 4 by 4 that would be it is basically 0. Point, mm, 4 3 3 plus 0. 0.25 so it is basically 0 0.683 okay yeah and uh, so this is basically tau dt this is basically your l final right l initial is mv into r so like capital m so r capital m is 2 into v is 1 r is 0 0.5 so it is basically 1 so delta l we can say is not equal to 0 Right. it is equal to 0 0.327 i guess 317 i guess right 0 0.317 so that implies that omega 1 minus omega 2 is also not equal to 0 so omega 2 is not equal to 0 so from here uh, we can say that uh, option b is wrong the ring won't come to complete stop omega 2 will be there and it will perform pure rotation about its center of mass and uh, the direction of the pure motion is uh, see this thing is uh, not more than this thing like uh, the final momentum the final angular momentum is less than initial angular momentum right so we can say that uh, the direction of the angular momentum is not changing right so with this we can say the friction would the the direction of the omega would be this one right there will be torque applied to make it like this this will be the direction of the torque applied but it won't affect the direction of the momentum it will just reduce it so from this we can say the ring will have tendency to move over here so the friction would be acting over here so friction between the ring and the ground is to the left so this is also true there is no friction that would be false friction to hai because if that's not there the ring will never perform the um, what do you call it pure rotation motion right so option a and c is the right answer to this question thank you